free to roam this sea of grass. American bison are a symbol of the Great Plains. Wild buffalo once roamed here by the millions before being wiped out during westward expansion. Today, they are found almost exclusively on ranches, but their numbers are growing. I definitely feel that the market for buffalo is booming right now. It's a strong market um, and it's gone up strongly in the last few years and it's holding pretty steady right now. 200,000 animals are being raised for consumption in the U.S. Production is double what it was five years ago. Consumers are acquiring a taste for meat billed as a healthy alternative to beef with a romantic Native American past to boot. Well, bison is the salmon of the prairie. Everyone brags about how great salmon is, rich in omega-3 fat, very low saturated fat, loaded with other nutrients, macronutrients. The buffalo is the same thing. Bison meat sells for nearly twice the price of beef, an added incentive for ranchers, but raising the animals is costly too. They can be aggressive and farms have to be adapted to house them. But some ranchers see bison as a vital part of the plains ecosystem and say it's as much about getting back to American roots as it is big profits. All they have in them is, is water, sunshine, grass. That's it. That's it. It's as simple as that. There are no hormones, there are no antibiotics, there's no confinement, and that we're get, trying to get as close to a natural setting as is possible in the 21st century. Modern industrial agricultural practices dominate the nation's heartland. The bison boom could play a role in bringing parts of this unique ecosystem closer to its natural state.